Welcome to Easy Turn, a very powerful turn milling software. We support live tooling, sub spindle, two turrets, rotary axis, and Y axis. I'm going to start us off with a couple of turn work steps. So we're going to create a curve from a silhouette boundary and just simply select your solid model. Now I'm going to hide everything that does not pertain to turning. Our turning path starts here, ends here, and we're going to go beyond the end there. Now we'll go to our turn wizard. You can learn more about our wizards by visiting our Turn Express product page. It has a wonderful video there that you'll find very informative. In this video, we're focused mostly on live tooling. Now we'll do a finish OD. Take a look at the results, what we can expect at the machine. Now we'll take care of our drilling. We'll create a new curve. Select the front face on center. Go to our drill wizard. Select the drill from our library. Now I'm not so concerned about our tool number and offset speeds and feed. Uh, we can adjust that in the spreadsheet. I find it very convenient to do that later. Now we're going to show everything pertaining to our rotary axis. We need to find the start height of our hole on the hub. The start height is from center from our zero to the top of the hub, so it's radially. So the way I'm going to find that information out is I'm going to put my cursor right here on this intersection between the shoulder and the hub, and it gives me my coordinates in the list box over here on the right. You have negative 375. We're going to need to know that for our milling. The hub OD is one inch, so our hole starts at a half inch. So next we create our drilling curve. Go to mill turn and pick curve drilling. Go to the advanced tool. Tool type is a drill. Diameter is 150. We'll add a length and the tip angle is 118 degrees. So the surface height where our drill starts is a half inch. The location, we're machining on the side, so we want side left, left meaning our main chuck. The MCS ID is our coordinate system, which is the world. If you have a Y axis, you can simply check this box. We do have copy and index options, so if you had multiple holes in a pattern around the hub, we can just add that there. Now we'll create our milling curve. So we'll select our face coordinate system. Under curves, we're going to use XC intersection. Now with our milling curve, we'll go to mill turn, curve milling. Go 
to advanced tool, change from drill to flat end mill, taper angle is zero. Now the shoulder was negative 375. We'll go a half inch deep. The location is in fact face left. We're using the face coordinate system. Our offset direction should be left. Again with the y-axis checkbox, a total stock of a hundred thousandths and a cut step of 50 gives me two passes in towards the OD. There's our two passes. And next what we have to do is we have to measure the radius on the front here. That'll give us the radius for our corner rounding tool. And that's an eighth of an inch. Back to mill turn, curve milling. Advanced tool, corner round. We'll use tool six, offset six. 375 stays the same. Our depth is an eighth of an inch. Back with the offset. And we'll take off the cut step in total stock. Take a look at the results we can expect at the machine. Now for speeds and feed adjustment, we can go into the spreadsheet. Anything I change here will update in the list box in the work steps. That way there I don't have to open each and every work step to make my adjustments. We have a variety of post processors for live tooling machinery. We've developed them over the years, so there's quite an accumulation. And we're happy to customize them to your personal preferences. Well, thank you for watching.